today's video is going to be on the 135 grain A tip by Hornady. I do have a piece of leather on a piece of pine to simulate bone this time. I'm going to shoot my reduced load first, flip my box, shoot a high velocity load, and test and see if these may be a viable hunting bullet. Yeah, we exited the side, back side of my block about there. So that's 15. You look at about 22 inches of penetration before it exited my block. After going through uh, my leather and board simulated hide and bone. Velocity on that was 1,981 feet per second. Definitely at lower velocities, we're going to be just fine. The real question is will they hold together well enough to make a viable hunting bullet? at higher velocities. Definitely got a pretty wound channel. I can see where it, it definitely grotesquely over fragmented. There's my aluminum tip right there. You got, you know, after hitting that board, I'm surprised you got about a quarter inch there. I apologize, I forgot my tape measure. Before that massive hemorrhaging, carry his tapers down and it did not penetrate into my second block. Um, honestly, that's, that's so similar to the results I get in, uh, similar grain weights and velocities as burger bullets. So I'm going to have to say, if you like or love burger bullets hunting, you're, you're going to love these too. They're so similar in performance. And that was moving. 2,849 feet per second. So most definitely more than viable. Here is my lead core and jacket. I can weigh that when I get home. Um, again, it's a match grade bullet and any more in the shooting world rate retention is not what you're looking for you're looking for massive hemorrhaging in the chest cavity and i gotta say this bolt's gonna do it